Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to make mini UPS for Wi-Fi router. So let's get started. I designed and printed UPS case on my Ender 3 3D printer. I will share the links of 3D files in the description below. I printed the case with white PLA filament. So charging and battery full status LED can be seen easily. To make this UPS you will need barrel jack pin. Buy it according to your Wi-Fi router socket as diameter of pin may vary. You will need 18650 battery socket. We are using single battery for our UPS. To step up the battery voltage we are using cheap and reliable XL6009 DC to DC converter. We are also using low cost TP4056 battery charging module to charge our battery. It protects battery from overcharge and discharge. Get some M3 screws to fit top UPS cover to the base 10 to 15 mm length will be fine. Also you will need some wires to make connections between TP4056 and XL6009 modules which we will see later in this video. My XL6009 module came with heat sink. Paste it on the module as shown in the video. It is advisable to use heat sink as our Wi-Fi router runs continuously and our UPS will be connected to it in the series. Heat sink will also help if router draws more current. Take double side tape and stick it to the back side of the module. We will stick the module in the UPS case using double side tape. Refer the circuit diagram to make connections. To avoid confusion and wrong connections, take wires of two different colors, like red, black, or brown, black, and solder them as shown in this video. Brown wire, which is positive terminal, needs to solder on the in plus pad of the module, while black, which is negative terminal, needs to solder on the in minus pad of the module. Now other ends of brown and black wire will be soldered to the TP4056 module. Solder brown wire on the out plus pad and black on the out minus pad of the module. In short out plus pad of the TP4056 module will be connected to in plus pad of the XL6009 module and out minus pad of TP4056 will be connected to in minus pad of the XL6009 module. Now take battery holder and solder red wire of the holder on the B plus pad of the TP4056 module same way solder black wire on the B minus pad of the TP4056 module. So battery will supply power through TP4056 module and its voltage will be boosted by XL6009 module. This boosted voltage will keep our router running when there is no electricity. Now it's time to solder jack pin to the XL6009 module, pass the pin wires through the hole of the UPS case.
solder red wire of jack pin to the out plus pad of the XL6009 module and black wire of the pin will be soldered to the out minus pad the XL6009 module. Now stick the XL6009 module in the UPS case using double-sided tape. Also fit the TP4056 module in the case as shown in the video, use hot glue if required. Now it's time to fit battery holder in its place. Secure the wires properly, use hot glue if required. We are using 18650 3800mAh lithium-ion rechargeable battery, buy good quality batteries for better performance and backup, don't go with generic low-cost batteries, it will end up quickly. Now fit the battery in the holder, check for the correct polarities. We are almost done, measure the output voltage using multimeter, my TP-Link Wi-Fi router runs on the 9 volt, so we need to reduce the voltage. We have potentiometer on the XL6009 module, adjust it to reduce the voltage as shown in the this video. Also check the voltage when UPS is connected to the power supply. If everything works fine, it's time to fit the top cover of the UPS case which I have printed with blue color filament. Our mini UPS is now ready for first trial. I have GTPL fiber optic broadband with TP-Link Wi-Fi router which runs on 9V and draws 600mA, when there's no electricity our UPS will provide backup power for around 5-6 to six hours. Connect jack pin in the power socket of the router. Congratulations, our router boots up perfectly, you can see green lights turn on. You can connect UPS to 5V wall socket adapter so it will keep the battery charged. You don't need original 9V adapter now, enjoy your surfing.